Young Won, despite the fact that you publicly reject me every day, I always look out for you. Pay attention to me. I won't be able to assist you with your problem if you forget about me right now. Life may be difficult and full of unknowns and difficulties. In spite of everything, I'm here for you. I have known you since the day you were born. If it were possible for me to seem aloof and unapproachable to you, that is far from the truth. You can always rely on me to help, listen and provide direction. The little miracles that occur every day, the laughter of loved ones, and the gentle breeze brushing across your face are where I find my life. My child embraces me and receives my devotion with an open heart. In the midst of turmoil, we may find solace and conquer any obstacle together. Remember that I am always here for you, ready to support you in achieving your goals and finding your route on this trip we call life. As such, do not disregard this notification or fail to complete it. I recognize that you are feeling very tense, apprehensive and anxious, and that you are unclear of what to do or where to turn for support. You want to know why things are going in the current direction. You don't feel safe, comfortable or secure. Instead, you're frightened and terrified. Boost my confidence. I am with you and I am here, for you. I can guide you out of this valley of tears and into a place of safety and security if you would. Only trust me. I welcome you with open arms. All you have to do is enter my embrace and make yourself at home. You are not the only one facing difficulties. You are not alone in feeling this way. You are not the only one who has experienced this. God promises to support you throughout this difficult time and to let you know that He is there. Don't let this test cause you to lose faith in God or for you to feel down. Instead, seek His assistance and direction while navigating it. Consider how loyal God has been to you in the past and how He will continue to be faithful in the future. Rather than focusing on what you have lost or what is likely to happen in the future. The plan of the Lord includes you. He has the most amazing idea that will make you happy, and He came up with it in the best way imaginable. All you have to do is pay attention to what He says. Give it some time and do what He says. It is not necessary for you to search for your destiny. You already have it in your heart, thank God. All you need to do is learn how to recognize it and get right in. Though we are not always able to understand them, God's plans are always superior than anything we could come up with on our own. Simply take a seat and listen to what God has in store for your life if you are feeling lost or confused about anything. If you think that I'm genuine, please like this video. Show this video to five devout Christians. I had a purpose when I made you. I created you and placed you on this planet for a purpose. Not to indulge yourself or make your life easier, but to fulfill your destiny is why you are here. I promise that I will never abandon you. I pledge to be by your side through thick and thin, even when it seems like you'll never be able to accomplish your dreams and everything seems hopeless. You deserve to be the person you want to be, so don't give up on them or on yourself. Relentlessly resist doubt and discouragement, because they will only keep you from realizing your full potential in my kingdom. God says, given that I created you, I have the most insight into your thoughts when I say, I am here to assist and guide you during this life. I promise to always be there for you, even if you don't always understand my methods. I understand that there are times when it seems like I'm not paying attention. Please be aware that I hear everything you say and that I see everything you do. Remember that everything has a forecast. Therefore, whatever is not going well in your life is just temporary. You are not alone in this world. 
There are many people who really care about you. It's time to go with stuff that aren't furniture. It's time to release yourself from the pain and sorrow you've been clinging to for a very long period. You have enough life left in you. After everything you've gone through, you've surely wondered why it was so difficult for you to find pleasure. However, God is now showing you that those experiences were necessary because they shaped the person you are now. Realizing that everything in this world occurs for a purpose, even if it wasn't what we meant at the time, might help you reach new heights of spiritual development. Therefore, consider it in prayer and ask God to tell you how to handle whatever has been hurting or upsetting you recently. He loves us and just wants what's best for us. Therefore, He will show you how He wants this. Settled, my child, I have a gift for you. It's a kind and pardon present that will change your life forever. God desires for your heart to mend and for you to be able to forgive those who have wronged you. You cannot continue to live a life filled with anger and hatred. God wants to guide you out of this dark valley and into the light of his forgiveness and love. I will forgive everyone and make it seem as if nothing happened even if they have hurt someone else. I will restore all that has been stolen from you. I will give you new faith and new energy. God's word is an everlasting, living and active force that has the power to change your life in ways you never would have imagined. It promises to bring love into your heart and joy into your household. God is waiting for you to call on him to answer your prayers and perform miracles in your life. If we don't ask, however, how will he know? God loves you and wants you to be happy, treasured children. He has a plan for your life and wants to give you comfort and hope in every situation. It's time to really consider altering your circumstances if you are struggling to achieve tranquility in your life. The Holy Spirit of God, who is within every believer, may assist you in bringing about change. The Holy Spirit helps us get closer to Christ every day. God wants us to depend on his strength and power instead of our own in order to win in Christ. In the name of Jesus, I pray, asking God to grant you the blessings he has planned for you today. May his serenity permeate your mind and spirit as he removes all of your anxieties and concerns. I know what I have planned for you. I want to use them to give you hope and a future, not to hurt you. God claims that you were created for a purpose. One day, when we stand before him, we will be able to see how everything turned out for the best. Even if you may not be able to see it all, comprehend it now. God never gives up on us in the midst of our tribulations, even though it may not always be clear or even achievable while we are going through challenging times. He constantly supplies us with what we need when we need it. Remember, there's a reason why God exists. If you put your confidence in Him with your life, He will lead you through every challenge you face in the future. As you go about your day-to-day, -day, something could come up. I want you to realize how magnificent you are right now. You are here because I shaped you in this manner, to help you realize the potential I gave you. However, there are a few things you need to finish before you can do it. You have to be willing to forgive yourself for anything that you have done wrong in the past. Forgiving people for their offenses against you is a must. Above all, you must grant me forgiveness for all these errors and for anything else holding you back from realizing your full potential. I am the master of your heart, my dear. You have been my choice, and I offer you permission to help me. It's my light that has called you out of the darkness. I have placed an unlocked door in front of you that is inaccessible to everyone. You may come and depart in my presence as a child of the living God. Since you are my beloved son or daughter, I am 
overjoyed for you. I'll remain at your side until the end of time, so you don't need to worry. I know all there is to know. I've seen everything. I possess omniscience. I, I am fully aware of every aspect of your life and history, down to the last detail. I am aware of your thoughts before you have them, your feelings before you express them, and your plans before they come to pass. I am aware of the previous events and any future consequences. I don't know anything about you, therefore I am aware of everything past, present and future. Fear not what is ahead of you, what may occur. Today, tomorrow, or even in a few days, weeks, months, or years. Don't let your fear of the unknown stop you, since you are not weak or susceptible to anything, not even death. You are a marvellously distinct creature. You are both gorgeous and scary, produced by the one who created everything. Because I am aren't afraid of harming you, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to give you hope and a future. Press on after your blessings are received. You have to think that God will provide you with wonderful things in life if you put your confidence in his word. It doesn't matter how bleak things seem to be for you in the future or how your history has ended. What God says in his written word is the only thing that matters. Trials or time cannot shatter God's promises because they are firm and unwavering. Even in the middle of your difficult circumstances, God is supreme and loves you. God demonstrates his love for us by having Christ die in our place while we were still sinners according to the Bible. The only one who can ensure your satisfaction is you. Peace of mind is something you own alone. Is there someone else who can fulfill your needs and fulfill your desires? You alone. It's time to accept responsibility for your life and quit blaming other people for your issues. If your negative attitude is getting on your nerves, now is the moment to decide that you and no one else will put up with it. Decide today to treat yourself and other people with more love and compassion. Since I created you, I am aware of every thought you have. I am aware of your circumstances and emotional state. I am aware of your previous actions as well as your intended future actions. Nothing escapes my notice, sweetheart. I observe everything on earth, including both humans and animals. I will make my choice on the appointed day. Moreover, those who have not repented of their transgressions will not escape the consequences of that day. They will perish. For this reason, you should turn away from your right away. After you've confessed your transgressions and asked for my forgiveness, lead a meaningful life. You honor me when you conduct yourself honestly. In all facets of your life I your words, acts, desires and thoughts. As long as you obey me and keep my word, you will have everlasting life when Jesus returns. Because I adore you and want the best for you, I am your father. I came to this planet to express my love for you. To make up for your sins, I sent my son, Jesus, to die. To give you life in him, Christ was crucified on a cross and resurrected from the dead. In order to save us from our sins, he pardons all of our transgressions and grants us his righteousness. Heavenly Father, I believe that Jesus Christ is your Son, the only way to paradise, and that you resurrected him from the dead. If you accept Jesus Christ as your God and Saviour and put your confidence in him, you will be ye granted everlasting life with me in heaven. Saying this prayer is easy. I implore you to pardon me of all my transgressions and to renew me in the image of Christ today. I am your Father, and I love you. I will be with you forever because you are my kid. Do not be afraid. I am here to support you. 
I know what is going on in your life at this time. I may not be able to see everything, but I am aware of the agony you are going through. Just keep in mind that I approve of everything that happens to you. Never forget how much God loves you. He wants to hear your prayers and concerns because he is interested in every aspect of your life. You may discuss anything that's been on your mind or in your heart recently with him. I shall now have my angels keeping watch over you. They are defending your body, mind and soul from any potential harm. Even if you don't think there is one right now, I have provided you with a route out of every situation that has been put in front of you. I'll point you the way out, but if you can't see it right now, don't worry. Just keep having faith in me. I swear that I will always be at your side. You have my eternal affection. I will never give up on you. You are a person I will never forget. Duties. I am your resurrected self, your strength, and your unwavering help. Run to safety with me when difficulties overwhelm you and an easy sea sweep you away. The devil and his minions have made many false allegations and attempts to undermine me. But they have been utterly unsuccessful since. They have no authority over me or anybody else who is a part of my family. Never forget that God is always with you, wherever you go, so don't. Allow fear or discouragement stop you from being the bravest, largest of all. The words of Isaiah read, I will save you and I am with you. I will not destroy all the nations in which you are scattered. Rather, I will ensure that you are punished just enough and not more. Don't be afraid, come, my child, and walk in my rules, because they are life to those who find them and health to all their body. Yes, I will empower you, assist you, and provide the right hand of my justice. Do not be afraid. I am at your side. Never give up, for I am the Almighty. Today, embrace your uniqueness and live as an adventurous, creative, and compassionate soul. Being in sync with your soul allows you to be who you are without worrying about being accepted or judged. You've already gone too far. Don't let yesterday's ignorance hold you back. Let go of what happened, since it isn't serving your best interests. It is a new day today, the outdated methods that used to work effectively for you are no longer efficient. Today, open your mind to all that is possible for you because God wants you to be joyful and pain-free. God is requested to assist you because he is aware of your irritation and knows that you will feel immense pleasure and freedom. But that won't happen until you let go of everything that is preventing you from experiencing it now. You are filled to overflowing with his skills, talents and abilities once again. God desires that others close to us profit from these gifts, but when we reject his love and grace, we reject his call on our life. Why am I here? Is a basic introspective inquiry. For as long as this life lasts, God wants us to be free from our vices, bad habits and behaviours, so that we may fully enjoy all of his benefits. God loves us, but he also loves us too much to leave us here. He desires for us to get so familiar with him that fear will never be able to control us. I am here to tell you that, despite how hopeless it may seem, there is still hope. There is a remedy for this. I am aware of how broken, injured and wounded your heart is. The world has forgotten who I am and what I stand for. I still care about them and want the best for them. Even though they have forgotten me in their darkest hours, I still think about them and what they need from me. Their worldly distractions prevent them from seeing how much they need me and what's really important in life that is. Their connection with me even though they are in dire need of me. Trust God for the outcome, 
even when it seems like everything is falling apart around you. He has promised to work everything out for the benefit of those who love and follow him. It's time to stop worrying about what could happen tomorrow, next week, or next month, and start concentrating on what we can accomplish right now. Let's live in the now, not in the future. Let us put our trust in God for our future and, instead of stressing about the future, let us just enjoy each day as it comes. If you think you're being contaminated by all of these messages, type Omen. There are many challenges in this world, but they are not insurmountable. God has given you the ability to overcome them. You have the potential to improve not just your own life, but also the lives of others. You are innocent of God's love in spite of the fact that God loves you so much that he sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross in order to atone for your sins and give you everlasting life. God has given you the ability to favorably impact other people's lives via loving service and submission to his will. This is what he desires for you in this world. God has given you gifts that you may use for both his glory and the benefit of others. There are many ways to serve God. Choose one that fits your tastes and style and go to work right now. I am determined to make sure my kids always feel like extraordinary creatures. I will not tolerate harassment towards them, mockery towards them, or feelings of worthlessness, incompetence, silliness, or insignificance. I swear to you as your father that I will always love you in a manner that is unbreakable by anything, anyone, or anywhere. When we hold on to Jesus' promises, we are standing on truth because he is the truth. In the midst of your problems, you are not alone. I'm always here for you, by your side. I promise to stay by your side through all of life's highs and lows, dreams realized and dreams completely ignored. I'll be at your side no matter how easy or difficult life becomes, or how good or bad things happen in your life. I am always here for you, no matter what, even if it may not always seem like it. And keep this promise in mind, even when it does, and seem realistic or practical. Remember that I am God as I rise above the nations and the earth. Keep motionless and acknowledge this. I want you to trust me with your future even. Though I have the ability to heal your body and mind, I want you to know that I am Christ and that you are always in my love, no matter what. Should I fix your body right away and you don't? Learn self-care. You can become dependent on me for recovery. Your health or handicap won't matter to me. I'll show you how to be content and relaxed in any situation. Send this video link to five other believers after clicking yes if you're ready. Please enable bell alerts and subscribe to our channel so that we can assist you.